Lately, the theme of this investigative series has been identity crisis. There are people that are just pretending to be somebody that they definitely are not. So a woman that lives in Canada who is related to Kamala Harris reached out to me about their family. And this woman has kept records dating back to the 17th century. I'm not kidding. When I saw this document, I was like, I, need, I just need to get my life together because this woman knows her ancestry in a way that is just impressive. She was so thorough. And she has confirmed that Kamala and Donald are certainly lying about at least one aspect of their heritage. They're hiding something. Hmm. She kind of took care of things for George Soros. I found that to be very interesting and compelling because we know that her father, as uh, her family members have said to me, her father, Donald Harris, is a dyed-in-the-wool communist, attended Marxist meetings his entire life. He's incredibly secretive. And uh, now I can confirm that he has lied. I mean, we always suspected it when he said, you know, heritage unknown to me about his grandmother. We always suspected he was lying, but now I can, I can certainly confirm that to you, and I'm going to tell you how. So we had done this show a couple of weeks ago where we briefly touched upon the fact that there was some evidence, some strong evidence that pointed to the fact that somewhere along the line, Kamala uh, had Jewish ancestors. Specifically, we had said that her great grandfather was potentially Jewish and that we knew that her great grandfather's brother, which would have been like her great great uncle, whatever it was, was a man named Michael Harris, who was registered as a Freemason in Jamaica. Why is Kamala hiding aspects of her heritage? Like, why would you need to hide that you're Jewish? It doesn't make any sense. We just had Trump in office. Ivanka was very involved, obviously, in the administration. Jared Kushner was involved in the administration. This isn't a country that's going to go, oh, my gosh, well, she's married to a Jewish man. So it didn't make enough sense for us to explore that route. But then we received this email, okay? And I'm just going to, I guess, at first read to you. I actually received four emails. Obviously, we're hiding this woman's identity, uh, but she is a member of the Harris family. And I'm going to read you this email that she sent me. Uh, she wrote, hi, I wanted to reach out. My name is blank. I saw your podcast about Kamala's Jamaican heritage. She's related to me, a fourth cousin, by my gra but my grandfather is Michael Ralph Harris. He was an only child. My great-great-great-grandfather and her great-great-great-grandfather were brothers. The picture on your podcast is my grandfather and my grandmother, not hers. Um, don't worry, guys. I'm going to show you a chart so you can follow this along. Also, the Michael that immigrated to Canada was my uncle, my father's younger brother. His name was actually M Mikhail. I have attached the picture from my grandparents' wedding day. It is on my mantle. And then she followed up and said, actually, it, we, our, our great-great-grandfathers were brothers. She made a mistake. It wasn't three times. It was great-great-grandfathers. And I'm, I'm also going to show you the photo that she attached here of her, because you might, you might recall it from a previous episode that we showed. Uh, and she shows that this picture is on her mantle. So I had every reason to believe her. It it was a picture that we showed and she says, okay, these are my grandparents. And we again did show this um, as peop, uh, uncle, potential great uncle of Kamala Harris uh, that was Jewish named Michael Harris. And she's saying, well, Michael Harris didn't have any siblings. So this was of tremendous interest to me because she not only uh, included this, she also sent to us five pages of her family tree, like just a, a document where she was showing who was born when, dating all the way back to the 17th century. It was actually, like I said at the top of the show, it was incredible. She even had how some people died and she just had the Bravo Harris line, which we had suspected was Kamala's family, but we weren't certain until this woman emailed us uh, with this documentation. And, and she, I mean, she just had more receipts than you could ever ask for. She was very thorough, uh, which by the way, Jewish people are known to, to really take charge of their ancestry in a way that is quite remarkable and in a way that I think we, we all should be mirroring and mimicking. And so sh I just want to show you the chart that she produced because it gave us clarity. I mean, look at this. This is just one page of the document that she sent me so you can see how thorough this woman was. And she is saying right at the top of this document, you have a, a Henry Harris. And that is that is the shared great, great grandparent that she has with Kamala that her uh, then you can see Henry Harris had two kids, right? Henry Harris had a Joseph Harris and a Ralph Harris. Again, I'm going to show you a visual chart so you don't need to uh, try to stay up with everything that I'm saying right now. There's a lot of names. But Joseph, essentially Joseph and Harris were brothers. And she's saying that Kamala descends from the Joseph line while her family continues on to the Ralph line and that they were Jewish. 
So I'm now going to show you a chart because we worked all this out. This was tremendously helpful and we were able to make sense of everything for the first time because it's difficult with Ancestry.com. You don't know what's real and what's not real. But what, what we were able to determine after speaking with her is she said, you know, my family was, they were Sephardic Jews. And so this is the chart of, of Kamala's side that she's speaking about. Again, I'm giving you a visual chart because it just helps because there's so many names. But right at the top there, you have Henry and then you have Joseph. This is where she says Joseph and Ralph, these were where uh, Ralph is her line, Joseph is Kamala's line. And you you see this and you can see uh, you've got a Joseph Harris, an Albert Harris, a Joseph Alexander Harris, who allegedly married Miss Chrissy Brown. And then you have Oscar and then you have Donald. And then at the bottom there, we have Kamala. So this is just what we are showing is that paternal line uh, straight from Henry Harris. And what's remarkable is I sort of went, okay, so you're telling me that your family were Sephardic Jews. Let me look more into this Jewish angle. Uh, it would be very against straight strange if she's hiding this, but let me go ask Kamala's relative that I've been in contact with whether or not he can confirm to me um, that their family is Jewish. Like he should be able to tell me about his grandfather. He should be able to tell me about, he should be able to tell me about Oscar Harris. These people were all alive recently. We don't need to go that far back. Is Kamala's family Jewish? Um, so first and foremost, I want to say the woman in Canada says they do not agree with Kamala's politics at all. That is why she reached out. She said it's an absolute fact that Donald is lying in his piece um, in Jamaican Global Online when he says heritage is unknown to him, that that is an absolute lie and that their family believes that they are intentionally blackwashing the Jewish parts of their identity. So where Kamala is Jewish, they are inserting this sort of nebulous black ancestry that doesn't actually exist. And like I said, she keeps records. She has kept them all. And she's saying they are Sephardic Jews. So when I followed up with Donald's direct relatives who I have been communicating with, they confirmed that what she said is true and it's nothing that they're ashamed of. They don't know why Donald is not telling the truth about the fact that Oscar Harris was a Syrian Jew. Unbelievably, a Syrian Jew. Oscar's father, Joseph Alexander Harris, was a Syrian Jew. So this family is Jewish, okay? They then, and then it kind of occurred to me that we've actually only been given one picture of Oscar Harris, okay? And it's quite strange because despite the fact that her book has colored images all throughout it, Kamala Harris decided to colorize, I mean, to, to turn the photo uh, which looks like it was a colored photo into black and white of Oscar Harris. And so that kind of gives him, and we can uh, show this photo up close. Yeah, that kind of gives him, we're like, okay, I don't know what color he is. Like maybe he's brown. Uh, and I guess we're supposed to believe he's brown because we're being told that Donald Harris is black somehow. We're not clear on that. But it is of interest that they've only presented this one photo and we are just led to believe that he's brown. And so I asked Kamala's relative, I said, out of curiosity, okay, you're telling me um, that his father was a Syrian Jew. You're telling me that there's no question that Oscar Harris was Jewish. So what color was his skin? Was, was he brown? And he said, no, he was extremely fair skinned. Like he, he, like white passing, Oscar Harris was white passing. And you don't get that from that image. So once again, we have a circumstance in which she's blackwashing things. Very, very strange. So Oscar Harris is in fact fair-skinned and the evidence is pointing to, and there's no question, it's not even evidence. Like nobody can dispute this. Snopes can't dispute this. Kamala Harris is Jewish and she's lying or not lying, but not addressing the fact that she's Jewish, which is extremely strange. In fact, the person that I'm speaking to in Kamala's family says that the only person that had any melanin, like in all of Oscar's relatives, brothers, children, is Donald. And that, that is quite strange. Donald is the only person that has a, a darker complexion, which is why she doesn't colorize him or, or transform his photo into a black and white photo because they're trying to push this idea that she is black when in fact she isn't. And I believe that it's because he's Hindu somewhere. And uh, it, the relative told me that, that that's part of the reason that they think that Donald sort of started leaning into this sort of Marxist race stuff because he was the only person that had a little bit of color and was treated differently than the rest of his relatives. 
very, very strange and something that is definitely worth exploring, especially given some more of the things that Judge Joe Brown told me. I know that we, we really should take a closer look at that. It's a weird thing to lie about is what I would say. There's no reason, there's no clear reason as to why you would take a piece of your family that is Jewish and try to make people believe that they are black. And this woman in Canada also made it clear to me, this relative, that it's also strange to them that she's lying about the fact that that lineage, that the Jewish lineage then married into the slave owning lineage, which would be the Browns. They established the town and they have a, just a plethora of evidence and documents supporting that while they pretend to the public that they're like, it's unknown. By the way, a little tidbit, that uh, Judge Joe Brown gave me off record was that that Jamaican global online piece that we read, it's been changed. That actually there was a, uh, a print of that and it was then lifted and put online. And when it was put online, it was changed. And that he has the original somewhere in his attic. I was like, I will go through your attic for three days. He's like, yeah, I was in the attic. Like, uh, you know, my my uh, ex-wife had it in our attic. I know it's somewhere. I was like, please, Judge Joe Brown, let me into your attic. I will search through every single document to find this. But there might be somebody out there that maybe collects. I, I didn't. I thought Jamaican Global Online was literally just online, but apparently there's there's actually a print of that who may have that in their possession. So I don't have to uh, go through the judge's attic. But I'm willing to do whatever. I'm totally willing to do that. Do whatever. Okay. Now cutting to the other aspect of this that we're looking into as we drop all of these uh, little nuggets along the way. So you remember Dorothy, obviously this uh, loving, bubbly Jamaican woman who was just so kind and uh, kind towards Kamala. She very specifically recalled having grown up rather affectionately with her grandma, Beryl, uh, and also Beryl's wealthy son, Kenneth, that is Donald's brother. Kenneth is also extremely fair-skinned, who gave her bike rides. And so we know that he had money because it was like a Harley Davidson. Well, apparently Dorothy is now being harassed for telling the truth. That's at least uh, what Lady Colin Campbell has shared as well as Lady Colin Campbell. Like people are just freaking out because how dare you tell the truth when we're trying to blackify this woman? How dare you tell the truth that something's not right about Beryl? But there was something else that she mentioned that we were able to look into and determine a truth about. So Dorothy had told us that aside from having plagiarized a black woman into her book, because that was not Beryl, she mentioned that while Beryl was light-skinned and possibly Irish, she had a sister that was even more light-skinned than her. So I know that we've been thinking this entire time that this part of the family may have been Irish. Now I'm wondering if there's maybe, maybe they're Jewish, who knows? Because like I said, I'm trying to piece together what it is that she's lying about. But we did learn Beryl's sister's name, okay? We know for a fact that Beryl's sister's name is Norma. So we began looking for a barrel Norma sister combination. By the way, I'm very shocked by how many barrels <laughs> barrels there were uh, in Jamaica. We're trying to find them within the right timeline. And thus far, we have only been able to find in the Kingston Gleaner, remember that was the only newspaper at that time, um, one barrel Norma sister combination. I want to be clear if this could be a lead, it could not be a lead. I'm just presenting this to the public because I found it to be of some interest. It was an obituary in the Kingston Gleaner dated in 1976 for G.V. Ramsey. Now, don't even get me started on the fact that this guy, G.V. Ramsey, looks like I, like I was vaguely recalling this face. Now, obviously it's very grainy, but I'm gonna just say right off the bat that it looks like um, a Finnegan from Joe Biden's family. Joe Biden had uh, some interesting relatives, but I'm gonna save that for later this week. But, but just looking at the face, I found this guy, G.V. Ramsey. Um, again, this could not be right. All we have here are two names, but this is a person that we at least know served in both, both world wars. It says Mr. G.V. Ramsey. Again, that stands for Gladstone Vernon Ramsey, a veteran of World War I and II, and a former quarantine officer in the Ministry of Health. Uh, Norman Manley Amport died recently following an accident. Now, I wanna say this is also very strange. So it, it says now in the next line that the funeral service was held at the Garrison Church up Park Camp on December 10th and um, internment followed, blah, 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 blah. It's weird that in every obituary that we have come across, there's an obituary and it tells you where the funeral services will be held. This one 
the funeral already happened and they decided to publish this in the retrospect. So that was a little bit unusual. That may have just been the family's choice. It was just something that in my head I flagged as, uh, as a bit strange. Uh, it says, and it goes on to say that he saw active service in the medical corps in World War One in Egypt and Palestine. And on his return, he joined the public health services and served in several parishes. He afterwards served in the quarantine services at Kingston. And on that next paragraph, it tells you, a large gathering representing a cross section of the community attended the funeral principal mourners included his wife, Pinky, his daughters, Beryl, Norma, and sons, Don, Carl, and Hayden, sister, Bertie, and grandchildren. So again, this is like very early research. I just found this to be the only combination of a barrel and a Norma that we could find. I, uh, in the Kingston Gleaner, I would be very keen and, and we have not been able to establish contact with her. I don't know if she's spooked because she's getting so much hatred, but I would be very keen to speak with Dorothy and to see if she had any memory of this, if she had any memory of Kenneth telling her um, what Beryl's father did for a living. My suspicion, <coughs> pardon, is that Beryl may be like Irish, Indian, Jewish combination going on there. Um, and it would make sense if we know that Norma was extremely, extremely white, um, wh even lighter than she was, which I would just say would just be white, then we're looking for a father that's probably white. So that's why I flag that as interesting, but I'm gonna leave it at there, leave it and, and continue to go through your guys's, your guys' emails because you know there were a lot for us to go through. And then obviously we were prepping for Judge Joe Brown. Um, and so we were a little delayed, but I do wanna explore the Joe Biden angle tomorrow because like I said, there's just some, some weird crossover going on. I know you guys know that Biden descends from Finnegan's and they're saying that this barrel descends from Finnegan's and that guy happens to look like a Finnegan, but people can look alike. I'm just, like I said, we're gonna do some research and we'll present you some of our findings uh, tomorrow. I forgot earlier, I wanted to show you the close-ups, by the way, of that paternal line of Kamala's like ha like she's not just like she's like exceedingly Jewish it's kind of weird that we didn't know this can we can you give me the close-up of like the Joseph Harris at the top do you guys have it I'm sorry to go backwards this is yeah this is her paternal line and I'm not laughing I'm just it's just like weird I am laughing no I am laughing I shouldn't take that back I did I did just laugh and you saw me do that live but it's just like once I saw the family tree and I'm like whoa that's her great great grandfather and this woman's just out here being like yeah I'm black now whatever. Show me the other guy too. Like, yeah, this, this is Albert Harris, right? So this is Oscar Harris. This is like her grandfather's father. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like you can just like do that. I feel like you can't just be out here being Jewish and then just be like, nah, never mind. I'm black. I don't know. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Maybe you can. We're going to find out. November 5th is around the corner. But like when I was looking at these photos up close, I was just like, dang, Kamala, this is so low key disrespectful. This is disrespectful to black people and Jewish people. Like this is like everything. This is this is I don't know. I don't know. Show me. Show me. Show me the photo again up close. Show me. Show me this man. Show me her granddad. Dang, Kamala. You really out here trying to play us. I just, it's too much, man. It's just too much. Anyways.